And President Joe Biden delivering remarks on freedom today in France, marking the 80th anniversary of D-Day, which was yesterday. The president drawing a connection between the Allied powers fight to liberate Europe decades ago and defending Ukraine's democracy against Russia's dictatorship today. ABC's M. Wynn has the latest now from Washington. The president marking the 80th anniversary of D-Day from Puente du Oc, warning of the threat against democracy. American democracy asks the hardest of things, to believe that we're part of something bigger than ourselves. So democracy begins with each of us. The president drawing the common cause between the allied forces to free Europe and defeat Nazism to today's effort to support Ukraine against Russia's aggression. President Biden Tennessee meeting face to face with Ukrainian Russia. President Zelensky. Peace President off. Biden issuing his first public apology to Ukraine for the congressional delay in military assistance, which may have helped in Russia's ongoing major offensive in the Northeast. We had trouble getting the a bill that we had to pass that had the money in it from some of our very conservative members who were holding it up. The U.S. president blaming Republicans for holding up the $61 billion military aid package, announcing an additional $225 million in security assistance. I assure you, the United States is going to stand with you. We're still in completely. This coming a week after Biden broke from a long-standing policy and granted Ukraine limited permission to use American-made weapons inside Russia. In an exclusive interview, World News Tonight anchor David Muir asking Biden if that could escalate the war by more directly involving the U.S. It theoretically could, but it's not likely. Look, the idea that uh, Russia, this juggernaut that is absent nuclear weapons, this conventional juggernaut, you know how many troops they've lost so far? 350,000 dead or wounded without a single American troop being engaged by supplying the Ukrainians with the weapons they need. President Biden and the First Lady plan to enjoy a state dinner tomorrow hosted by the President of France. The pair are expected back in Wilmington, Delaware, Sunday. Amwin, ABC News, Washington.